Hi everyone. Welcome to the next short video. I do one short video a month and that is um, aimed specifically for the uh, tier subscription level 2 and above. Um, last month I did so, a little flower um, really uh, concentrating on shading. Um, right and so this month I am doing a couple of leaves um, really simply and I am putting them onto a paperweight and I'm putting them on the bottom of a paperweight and this is so that in the end you look through the two you know from the top down to the image which usually has quite a nice effect looking through the glass and I think that'll be a bit of fun obviously I'm, I'm putting the white background behind it so that we can see the the, the ink I've used a, just a normal permanent permanent marker because I don't know you don't have to that's just a normal one quite fat I probably um, you can use a, a, some, a thin one if you like excuse the paint on my fingers I've been, <laughs> I've been repairing uh, a little leather couch that I've got in my studio so uh, I've got paint on my, my hands anyway <laughs> oh dear me. So uh, once we start engraving, obviously the white background will come away and we'll have a dark background because the engraving will then show up against the dark. All right, let's go for it. Right, so as usual, starting off with a white Arkansas and I'm just going to uh, basically outline everything so I know where it is, that's all. This is one of my uh, spare drills and it is only 35,000 RPM which I don't find fast enough so I will be happy to get my next my older drill uh, service I can get the speed back that's at least 40,000 RPM Okay. So as usual, we've got water dripping down. Um, and yes, I will do a short video on my setup for that. It's very, very simple. Um, but basically it's a three-way no, or two-way gang valve with a bit of tubing um, stuck into uh, an elevated bottle of water and I use a milk bottle it's as simple as that and uh, it's dripping down simple water onto the glass and if you haven't got one of these uh, set up just a sponge and a little a little tub of water um, a bar of soap and dab the sponge on the soap dip it in the water and wet the glass with the ever so slightly soap uh, water, uh, soapy water because that keeps the water on the glass and I did that for 19 years so uh, right now you won't hardly be able to see this <laughs> engraving now because it's wet and that's what happens but uh, my goodness gracious me I'm gonna have to give you a darker a darker background oh. okay so starting with the beach I've just used a got a, a really rather large diamond coated fur and I'm just gonna take this along in sections 
I've got my little lines there which I hope that you can see um, with the white Arkansas and I'm going to they are just my guide and this has got sort of quite deep uh, bits of leaf there well rather not deep they're actually sticking out but we've got to engrave them deep um, because they're going to look like they're sticking out I'm just doing this really simply and these veins go right up to the edge now we'll be able to neaten the edge with a smaller burr not with this one it's so so simple let me get this light on here you can see it's always best to use a fat spur or the largest spur possible in an area so you don't have lots and lots of tiny scribbles unless you want tiny scribbles to make it look a little bit hairy you can see I've, I'm turning this slightly because it is quite comfortable pushing it away I don't want to be doing this sideways I want to be pushing it away because it is comfortable let's get that in the middle of the screen got dripping water and you find it difficult to hold it in one hand of course you can fix it to something so that it drips it drips on the glass be inventive there's actually several ways of doing this but this is the way I'm doing this today very very simple and I think uh, let me have a look at this. Okay. Okay. Give it a little wipe. So then you can see what's happening so far. Come on, dry off. <laughs> Taking its time drying. Right, so we've got this so far. And if you look through it, from that way, which is the right way up, you will be able to see that that, because the leaf is, is slightly raised and these little veiny things are indented, so um, it's already got the, the right sort of look about it. Okay. Now, for easy um, fixing, I'm going to be taking a nice little let's check that's okay nice little diamond coated burr very very small did you see that oops there um, and I'm just going to looking dry
Okie dokes. So now, I'm just going to take a green stone. It's not, uh, this particular green stone is not as rough as a diamond. You might be able to, if you've got something like the pink stone, that can work. What you're wanting to do is something that's not as rough as the diamond to just, you could use a white or canvas, of course, which is very, very dull. But what this does, just running over, and it's actually it's actually quite rough, rougher than I wanted it to be, so I'm just going to do that to it to try and take off any really rough little bits it's got in between. And I'm very, very lightly just going over all the blank patches of glass. I don't want to see any clear glass in between. And by the way, welcome to all my new patrons this month. I have now, as from today, got 20 and I am delighted. Absolutely amazing. My little family is growing from the very, very first patron that I had, Linda. I hope you're feeling better, Linda. Um, right. Okie dokes. Again, you can have a look from the other side. And you can see, that's why we have good lighting. And you can see what's going on. Okay. Let's just now take a grey rubber, grey rubber, and that is going to just run nicely over um, the edges, the ridges. Actually, what I'm going to do first, uh, there's something I want to do first, to be honest, because I want this middle vein to be sharper. So in actual fact, that's really got to come down neater. You're allowed to go back and forth, of course. If you see something, fix it. Now, that should be straight, so I might actually let's adjust that. There are many ways of doing this, as I say. This is just one easy way of doing it. And if you need to shade again, you go back and you shade again. I just want to make sure. Now oh, that looks quite cute. Okay, a very, very, very simple little beech leaf. Actually, looking at that, you can add some more shades in between. Um, if necessary, taking a um, that sort of shape, really rubber, because then you can just run it slightly on the inside. So from the other side, you see little shades 
on the inside as well which you won't get to if you just run a large rubber over the top and this will also just make some of that that indentation a little darker inside it'll be really nice there we go okay that's a simple beech leaf okay so just having looked at I'm sorry I had to change the film because I'd run out film disc film being very very old lingo uh, right just change that so I just noticed that up the first part of the stem you can you can obviously see the stem as white so I'm just going to take my tiny little diamond and a few drips of water which won't stay on the glass and up we go not very far because then that disappears into the, uh, the fold there are many many references that you can use on the internet obviously and there you are you can see the little bit of stem coming up as white and then disappearing into the the depths of the sort of a lumpy leaf because it is um, it has got sort of lumps it's not flat 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 so now let's move on to the oak light enough Lightly neating the edges, as I say this drill should be going a bit faster, but it's not. And then I'm just going to run this like we did on the other one. I'm just going to run it over everything. Neaten the outside. Well, we've got this in hand. Let's just drag that down there. Got the old pastel, grey rubber, and let's just uh, randomly put some any old shading on. It's as I say. There's no specific shade on any leaf. There's a bit of sunshine, there's a bit of animal droppings, there's a bit of well, insect droppings or whatever. 
and it's pretty random. Dappled shade, you name it. Maybe it's all. Ooh, that's interesting. I've just just lost the head of my uh, grey rubber. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> oh, never mind. We'll make that shading wider over there. So, because what you can see on the main picture is. So I'm just shading this a bit more. And then I'll add that line again. Because you can, you've got to be able to see the white lines quite clearly. My apologies to all those who know exactly what the right terms are for <laughs> these veins. And here's me, not a clue. Okay, now what I'm going to do now instead is I'm going to use a, a very, very small rat's tail, which is that. Okay, for you guys who might not have seen me do this, I can't remember, you probably have, but we're going to sharpen the top of this rat's tail because it's got diamond going all the way down and it has worn a little bit so I'm going to take the top off to get down to and I'm using a green stone just to get down you can probably use any stone or even um, a diamond just to get down to the fresh diamond bits okay let's try this again see if it'll show up better much speed as I can on this old slow machine. Now, sometimes when you are working dry on glass as opposed to crystal with a something like this which is quite sharp on the edges it's quite uh, yeah sharp you, I don't know if you can see that but there are some tiny little chips very very small which I can see with my headband magnifier but the average person may not be able to those I would like to get rid of so I will be running over those um, with actually while I'm before I do that I'm going to make sure that I have done this um, enough and then we'll come back and fix so let's Go up the middle again because this middle bit is thicker. Little white or Kansas, they do come in all sorts of different shapes. This just happens to be one that I've got. Uh, I do sell them. The ones that I sell uh, are in this shape, which you can use as well. They are the longer stem 2.35 whereas I use a very small one which doesn't fit all micro motors um, so no, I'm going to go over where I've already shaded where I see the little chippy bits because I don't want those and then that gets rid of those and then I can go back and shade that if I want I don't have to looks all right actually but um, I'm going to do a little shade and because I want a very accurate, accurate shade I'm going to use a little brown rubber which has got a point on it and I don't want a point on it so I am going to run it until it's flat 
against a stone. Hang on, can you see that? Let's run that against the stone or a burr or whatever or a diamond diamond burr just to make it a, a little bit flatter on the top because then I can use it more accurately on the edge where I've just fixed the little chips okay So there is roughly our little oak. Not sure I'm completely happy with the edge of the leaves. I'm just going to whiz around that with a, a little green stone. Again, because I have done this already. Just always make sure you it it is not a, a specific outline unless um, unless it's really meant to have an outline blended in. Okay, that'll do for our little leaf. So we've got we've got a beach and we've got an oak. This big diamond burr. And we're going to ov go over the sycamore pretty similarly to the way we did the oak. Sort of rough in between because unlike that where it's smoother in between the veins, this one is um, slightly rough, slightly rigid. I'm going to... Oh, shall I do this? No, I'll tell you what, we're going to work dry so that you can see this a little bit better. Okay, for those of you who um, don't know, working wet gives a smoother cut and makes the diamonds last longer and all that, but nothing is um, essential. You can work dry if you want, lots of engravers do work dry. It also keeps the dust down, of course. I have got my dust mask on, um, but working dry... Uh, you'll, you will be able to see this better as I go along. So, uh, right. I'm um, not that heavy actually, but I'm... Um, ignoring that because that was my mistake, do you remember? I thought it was on the other leaf, but it was this one. So now on this one, the, the middle bits are not white like the oak. They are going to be slightly darker like that. So we can indent it a bit. an effective leaf and we look at the other side and yeah they're quite cute aren't they yeah anyway we'll use this a little diamond burr 
I work dry and I'm just neatening up. Turn the paperweight for comfort. Comfort and ease of stroke. You will notice I might have used a different sequence of events here, neatening the edge before I have necessarily gone over the rest of it. It doesn't matter. You'll see as you go along some things you do have to do in a certain sequence, but you can always go back. That little painting. So this is not a botanical study, it is just a bit of fun, as long as the main details are relatively accurate. Okay, I'm going to go up with the white Arkansas. Let's get stuck in here. It's the same stone we used originally. See there's so many different ways of doing the same thing. Anyone who knows me knows that my favourite uh, burr, I think, well, the most important burr is the Swider Kansas one. It's a stunner. Watch, if I want a new one coming up here, I can just put a little one in there. Except I would use a sharper. This one's very round. When it's sharp, it can actually dig. When I say sharp, it's flat and use it on its side. You can dig well into the glass. And I'll show you one day grapes and bubbles with the spur. did that. So basically the, the, the little grey rubbers have a hole in the top. That was getting pretty loose because it's obviously it's been going a while. Anyway, usually when it wears down enough over here then I turn it around and because there will be a little hole appearing up there and then I turn it around and uh, poke it in the other way so that it's has extra life. So now again just randomly we're gonna go over this no rules just wherever you feel like it what uh, I'm just going to take this so there's a little bit of fold going on in there somewhere and it looks with 
things so we might just highlight that a little bit bit of green stone and oops where are you there that oops just obviously the, the it comes down a little bit in there and so it's, it's folded over itself a little bit but I might even shade that some more actually down here Do put a backing on, make sure that it has got no, no dust. Good old look around. Um, and uh, I get two backings one that goes um, on the inside, and one that will be on the bottom. And this has got a stickiness to it. Um, this one's also sticky, but what I'm going to do first with this one is make sure there's no dust. So I've got a bit of tape and I'm going to make sure I pick up all the dust from it because that's going to be against the engraving and locking it in forever. This is a little bit tricky, but I'm going to take that away from that. Zoom you out. Oops, that's a um, Take the back of that. Yeah, eventually. Come on. You don't want to. You don't want to bend or buckle this because of the natural factors. It's very sticky. So get that roughly in the middle. thereabouts and so now this is upside down that's nice and clean make sure it's <laughs> uh, you probably see the dust on the other side I'll just try to get all the dust from this side very sticky so that is now sticking mainly on the edges and then you will see there's our little paperweight with the white background there so you can see basically it's finished it's cute so there you go everybody, there's a little paperweight finished um, with three very simple leaves. Um, signature on the side but you can put your little sticker on the back if you've got a little sticker with your website address or just your phone number um, so that whoever uh, wants to know who did that, there it is. And um, that's normally what I will do, I'll put a little sticker on the back. Uh, three very simple leaves for you to have a go with. I do hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much for watching and uh, see you next time. Goodbye.